get me through the night You and I must be together as shadows do Whispers and tongues, your dressing gown awaits for your return. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your March 11 to 12. Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, there is a moon, a super moon, a full moon that's coming on the 20th. I'm working with crystal points and crystal spheres. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of changes. Jupiter will also move to Sag um, in its Gandanta on um, 29 degrees. Um, it's going to enter, uh, I believe, in the 28th to Sag. So it goes to your savings, actually. So it has its goods. It has its good. Uh, it will end something because Gandanta is anta, is ending, and it will start something. It will also how the other person is seeing you. There's something big that this person, how they will see you this time. If they were not noticing you before, which is very hard for them if to not to notice you, you know, Scorpio. But there's that one. We have a Rahu and Ketu movement also. You know, Rahu in Gemini and then Ketu in Sag also. A lot of things in your second house activated. Mm. And this full moon also that's happening, it's with regards to um, Uttara Bhadrapada in the 6th house of Virgo, 6 degrees. And you will see this energy as... Because it's, it's, it's about... A, uh, this, uh, the ruler is the sun, and this nakshatra is about contracts. So there's something that's going to be ending. Let's make it or break it. Mm -hmm. Let's make it or break it. And if I'm being serious, it's because... I don't know. Should I be always funny? <laughs> Can I can, can, can I can I be different? Because I'm never one to fit in a mold. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. Okay. So it's a very oh, and the equinox happens in the same day as the full moon. Hasn't happened in the past forty years. That's why for me it's like deload, deload. Let me put in the work. Let me put in the work. Ah. Uh, the things that I'm doing to prepare for this full moon. This is also my happy new year. I'm just sharing with the Scorpios. Okay. It's also my happy new year. This is like the new years of the new years for me. It is very, very... Oh, I can't wait. It's what we are. What I have been waiting for forever. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. One second. Oh, uh, I just can't find. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. Oh, there was the six of cups, two of cups, four of ones. We're using also a seventh house spread over here. The seventh house is. Um, well, we see the in the extent until the relationship part. We see how you guys are dating here. And also double the energy in the extended. Here we go. Got a hermit card. You're gonna be doing a lot of spiritual work. Um, a lot of um, transformation as uh, Rahu goes to your uh, to your Gemini, which is your um, eighth house. Uh -huh. Um, there's something that you're searching there. You're trying to get clarification. This is also where the full moon is happening in Virgo. as a Virgo card. Mm -hmm. Let me choose which one for you guys. Smoky Quartz. I choose Smoky Quartz. Uh -huh. So, I feel here that the connection that you're looking for, you will find. It was a lonely path for you. You were coming out of can be from depression, from feeling low. Here it comes now. You need to do something. I don't care. You go to my store. Don't go to my store. Do something for the full moon. Cleanse, sage, whatever. Okay. Be sure you do something. Prepare for it. 
Uh, go to your corner bodega. If they have some sort of crystal sage there, go get it. Okay. With me, it just comes with an instruction on how I would show the energy would be. Because I would send you a video also. Mm, sun card. I told you, Scorps. You better do something. It's a sun ruled nakshatra about a union. March 20th. If you just want to rely on readings and just, you know, like go with the flow, it's fine also. But I encourage to do some mantras, some prayers, okay? Prayers is the first thing. And then if you want to do some, you know, some sort of other supplementary that would help it. This is the Sun Nakshatra itself. Virgo, Uttara, Palguni, partnership. You could be dealing with the Leo also. You were looking for this person. The person is here. But I feel like they found you. Not not other other way around. Mm-hmm. So mate. Yes, this is. Other person other um we uh, other reader. Other zodiac that I did that got this was Taurus. Which is your natural seven. So watch how the synchronicity of both reads. This person sees you as a bright and shining star here. Go in the same direction. Communication. You might find that there is some sort of dishonesty. It will be brought to your eyes also. Scorpios are reading are always like this. What do you expect? The good and the bad every time. Because it's a transformation. What's ending also with Jupiter ending, you know, in uh, going to your last degrees, moving to Sag, to Mula, is this part. The lies will end. The betrayal will end. Someone is being dishonest. Can be a younger water sign. This is a hard truth that you're coming into. How you survive it is how strong the two of you have love for each other. With the Knight of Cups energy here, there can be someone connecting with you who's not revealing how they feel towards you. Yes, they haven't. They haven't been honest on how, how much they love you. How much they care. It was a self-betrayal here with this person. This person appears to be, um, how do I say that? Uh, they self-sabotage. Love. This is what they do. With the Six of Swords and your dating here. A moon in Pisces. Okay. We had a new moon in Aquarius in Vedic Sidereal, okay? Not new not not the Pisces one. But the sun will move to Pisces March 14, Vedic Sidereal. So you're gonna have Sun in Pisces and you will have a full moon in Virgo, which is natural one and seven. I'm looking at the chart itself. So there is a karmic connection that will be enlightened in two people. And what is the soul contract that they have? Because it's one seven, it's a Virgo Pisces. Having a sun, you know, in Pisces, and then having the full moon happening in Virgo, that that alone is an axis of partnership. That's one seven. And then you have Virgo again here. So overall, I'm feeling here, because natural twelve house is Pisces. If you guys do survive, yes, you move to the connection. If not, because the 12th house is the last house, it's also over. Meaning, you move along, you know, you start a new cycle with a new person, and then it's over. Because the Seven of Swords can be the clincher between the two of you. The dishonest part is that's the part that you cannot let go. The self-sabotaging energy that they have, that they don't want to admit that they love you, is the part that where it's going to go down. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading. Scorpio, link down there in the description box for the extended. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, Scorps.